there has been so much misinformation about measles and the measles vaccine that I want to set the record straight. Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Omar Awan. I'm a physician, senior public health contributor for Forbes and med patient aid columnist. I want to debunk at least four myths or statements of misinformation that RFK has said about measles and the measles vaccine. In a recent Fox News interview, RFK has said that the measles vaccine wanes significantly over time. That is not true. Actually, the MMR vaccine that you get in childhood protects you for life against measles, and it does not wane, or if it does, it's very minimal. In fact, the MMR vaccine is one of the best vaccines that we have. Getting one dose of the vaccine protects you by 93%. Getting two doses protects you against measles by 97%. Now, it is true that the mumps portion of the vaccine does wane over time, but not the measles. The measles is very strong and powerful, and it should protect you for a lifetime. The second piece of misinformation is that RFK claimed that by getting the vaccine, it predisposes you to pneumonia or infection of the lung or even encephalitis, which is swelling of the brain. That is also not true. Getting the measles infection, infection, not the vaccine, can predispose you to getting pneumonia or infection of the lung or encephalitis or swelling of the brain. These are complications of measles infection, not the vaccine. In fact, the vaccine is extremely safe. There are very minimal risk factors and adverse effects from the vaccine. So typically side effects that you can expect are maybe a fever, maybe soreness or redness in your arm from getting the vaccine. Now, very rarely, you know, in one in 2000 or 3000 kids can get something called a febrile seizure where you get a fever and you can have a seizure. That's exceedingly rare. And, you know, in one in 20 or 30,000 people may have low platelet counts, which are cells that are responsible to control bleeding. So then you may be predisposed to bleeding, but that's exceedingly, exceedingly rare. There are no complications associated with pneumonia or encephalitis. In another interview, RFK, the third thing I want to debunk is, is that he said that measles outbreaks occur all the time and the outbreak in Texas is not unusual. That is also not true. This is very unusual. Most outbreaks that occur from measles in America, including last year, are a handful of cases, maybe four or five cases. We've already had more than 300 cases of measles in Texas, New Mexico, et cetera. This is very unusual. And the reason why is because there are declining vaccination rates. Herd immunity is being threatened and less than the appropriate people are getting vaccinated. And this is why it's spreading throughout the communities. So it's directly related to low vaccination rates. And this is very unusual. And the last thing I want to debunk that RFK has said is, is that he also claims that, you know, by getting the measles vaccine or the best way to protect yourself against the measles vaccine is good nutrition. That is also not true. The best way to protect yourself against the measles illness or the measles disease is getting vaccinated. You can have be in perfect health, but if you're not vaccinated, you can still get measles. Again, getting vaccinated provides 93% protection if you get one dose, 97% protection if you get two doses, essentially meaning you're not going to get measles if you're vaccinated. And if you do, if you're unlucky and you're, you know, the 3% chance that you do, the disease is going to be very mild and you certainly are not going to die. The vast majority of people who have gotten measles in this outbreak have been unvaccinated individuals. Both people that have died from measles this year have been unvaccinated individuals. So that's also really key. So I hope that debunks the vast misinformation that's out there about measles and what, you know, some of the federal leaders here are talking about. But it's really important for everyone to understand what the real science is and what the real facts on the data show. Hope that was helpful. Please subscribe to the MedEd page. And as always, please be kind to yourself and to those around you.